Hey, welcome back to The Dive. Today on the show, we have the president and CEO of Trillion Energy, Arthur Halloran. He's here today to share the latest news from Trillion, as well as what to look forward to from the company as we head into the second quarter of 2023. Hey, Arthur, welcome back to The Dive. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks for having me back. Okay, so Arthur, your project is located in Turkey, so we have to ask you about the upcoming presidential election in May. How much risk does this election pose to investors in Turkey? So for the regular investments in Turkey, I'm not too sure, but for the actual petroleum, natural gas industry, the elections are not going to cause any issues or any anything with our, with our um, activities and our investment. And the reason for that is they import 98% of their natural gas. They are really champion investment in their domestic natural gas, and they're not going to do anything to put a damper on that because every MCF that we produce is one less MCF they have to import into the country. And we've always just um, flown under the radar and it's never been an issue in the past at all. Okay, so let's move on and talk about Trillion. You announced the preliminary gas indications from the West Akakoka One well at the SASB gas field. What sort of production results are you expecting from this? So we were quite surprised. I always say that I know exactly what's there and because geologically um, there is no risk. It's all an engineering exercise. But we were predicting about, I don't know, 25 to 35 meters of pay, and we actually hit... 55 meters of pay, just like in Gulich. Again, we were predicting about 25 meters and we hit uh, 74 meters of pay. And so, so right right now we are running in the, in the borehole with the completion uh, string. And we will be perforating not the full 55 meters, but five to seven meter intervals will be the first lowest interval interval and it will test because we know from all the other ones it will test between seven to ten million cubic feet per day and then it would be put on production it's capable of uh, four to five million cubic feet per day production but for the like for the other last wells that we've already done our operating partner puts them on in about three and a half to four you know more more towards a three and a half million cubic feet per day for for gross production and that is just because they want to have, you know, five, six, seven wells producing into the gathering infrastructure and the facility before they start opening up some of the wells because they're just concerned about um, low production pressure sinks and, and back producing pressure. So that well will will most likely put on production uh, three and a half to four million cubic feet uh, per day. We get 49% of it. Right now, we are getting about $17. The, the boat test price is like $17 and 80 something or 90 something cents. We take about a 1%, one to 2% discount. So we're $17 and change. So that well will give us a lot of, of revenue. And we'll complete that one probably within this next um, four or five days. We'll slide the rig over and then we will complete um, Gulich which again, we expect exact same production um, uh, you know, numbers. And so we're going to have four, four wells producing uh, revenue at about 17 and a half for change uh, MCF. You announced that December revenues totaled $2.7 million U.S. before royalties, with similar levels reached in January. Can you walk us through the results? And where will gas revenues be used? So... Like I say, the last month we were at 17 and a half, so we'll probably be making about um, 1.8 in that range million dollars for our um, February revenue. So we get that, actually it's the 20th right now. So we'll get that um, probably today or tomorrow. And then we have March production, so it'll stay roughly the same because it's only two wells. Again, it'll be um, the... Um, South Akachoka and Akachoka 3. But towards the end of it, we will be putting on the next two wells. 
But that being said, so in, in May, we're going to be getting four wells production. So we'll, we'll be back up into the, the higher numbers. What we're doing with the revenue is we are actually using that to start self-funding our, our project now. So all the money we've made so far in our revenue has gone back into the drilling program and buying long lead items or consumables or paying invoices. And um, that's exactly the way we intend to, to uh, fund the, the continuation of uh, the drilling. So Arthur, for investors who are following, what can they look forward to from Trillion as we head into the second quarter of 2023? So the thing they can look for in, in news releases and out, like I already will say that the next two wells, West Akachoka and Gulich, when we perforate them and put on production, we're going to do a news release, of course, and they will now know that we have four wells. They will now know that um, the model is de-risked. Like we, we've never had a concern about it, but it seems to be investors seem to not really believe the story. They think it's too good, but this will show them because we know they're gas wells. Um, this will show them that um, we drill a well, we get gas on. The next big item they can look for is we had to do our year-end reserve report. That's uh, NI-101, uh, uh, sorry, NI-51-101 uh, reserve report. And we're just, we'll probably be finished that in a day or two. That will be out um, in a news release. The issue with doing that one is that the deadline for all the data is December 31st. So we went and asked that and but we have to do it for requirements because with for security reasons we've asked for another one to be done including uh Gulich. of course west akachoka won't be in because it's going to keep going and so the um ni51 101 news release and then the update news release on the reserves a couple of weeks later will give the investors a really good um, understanding and a comfort feeling or the amount of reserves we actually really have in this field. Okay, great. Well, that's all we have for you today, Arthur. Thank you so much for coming on and giving us the company update. Yeah, thanks a lot. It's been a pleasure. To our audience at home, thank you so much for watching today. We will be back again tomorrow, so be sure to hit that notification bell so you don't miss it. Bye.